So now we're on the day two of the MLF Pro Circuit event. Um, I was sitting in like 140th, I believe, maybe even 150th. I don't know what it was. It was not good after day one. I had four fish, can't even remember, seven pounds, something like that. It was not where I wanted to be. Um, so I had to make some adjustments on day two. And what I did was I settled into one area and I just fished all day. And it was a little bit slow in the morning, first probably hour or so. I had, I think one bite and I missed it. And then I kind of kept grinding through there, just trying to catch whatever I could. And then I started to figure out these cattail heads that they were spawning on. And that was when I picked up that Z-Man Zinker Z. Uh, I would take that with a uh, quarter ounce angler tungsten weight. And what I was using or doing was pitching up to those cattails. And I figured out how they were spawning on certain edges of them. And I was catching a lot of bucks. Um, I actually never caught a female during the tournament somehow. Uh, I had one fish that was probably three pounder uh, day two that I hooked it. You'll see it. I've got it fighting. It's bowed up and it just, it pulls off. And I got wrapped up with some of the cattails a little bit. It's just, it's how fishing goes down there. You're not going to land all yours. Um, but I was pitching that around. That was with that favorite rod. It was a new one or newer one it's the seven seven it's a big sec or it's called the big flip it sexy actually um great rod i've really t that's kind of my go-to now when i'm flipping down there just not the super thick stuff when i get around that super thick stuff i'll pick up that 711 and punch with that goo with that one ounce uh, angler tungsten weight like we were talking about um but if you want to go over the whole sets ups you can go to my first practice video that goes into a lot more detail but uh, back to the tournament itself, day two, I, once I got into a group, I started catching them and I caught probably 10 pounds in the first like three, four hours. And it kind of settled me in. I was just going to keep flipping. I was really sure I was going to get that big bite at some point. Unfortunately, it never did happen. I ended up catching two more that were like two and a half pounders. Ended up with just over 12 pounds. I bumped up, saved some points. I think I ended up saving like 30 points. I ended up at 124th. Not where you want to go, but at least a little bit of damage control. Um, we're going to get after them at Smith Lake. I'm really excited for that one. You're catching big spotted bass. Go maybe get into a large mouth or two. So um, we're going to turn the season around, get after them. If you guys have any questions, throw them in the comments. If you need a favorite fishing rod or a reel, um, I go over what they are. This is favorite rod for the job. I have a whole playlist there that you can go and check a bunch of them out. If you have questions about them or any other rod, I can do another series on them as well.
carrying that Hayabusa in there. a lot. <laughs> it was over three. <laughs> I'm gonna follow you around if that's the case. I don't, he'll help a little bit. Now, yesterday I just, I didn't get many bites, and the ones I got I didn't put in the boat. But, and I haven't had a big bite yet. Oh, yeah. Sure, he's gonna help. Oh. 